All right, everyone. So we are back and we want to do just a really special kind of quick episode because we want to talk about something while it's kind of still fresh in people's minds. So what we're going to do is I'm going to play this video clip really quickly. In this video clip, I saw it on Twitter. Um, there's a there's a team of people that apparently they've been really keeping an eyeball on the Kyle Rittenhouse case. And they were streaming. They, it looked like they were doing like maybe their own YouTube and just kind of watching and making comments on it. So this is a clip. It's about 40 seconds, so it's not very long. And Tub and I are going to do some comments on it. So let's go ahead and we will watch this. Uh, we will watch this clip. So I'm going to go ahead and put it up on the big screen so that we can see it. And so there we go. It wasn't until you pointed your gun at him, advanced on him, with your gun, now your hands down, pointed at him, that he fired, right? Correct. Oh, shit. Wow. That's it. That's, That's it. it. That's Directed it. verdict. That's it. Directed verdict on all the murder charges. Kyle knows. Yeah. Directed verdict on the murder charges. He just he just exhaled. Kyle. Oh, he looks like he's gonna cry. How do you not? How do you not? How do you not acquit after that? Look at bigger. Look at bigger. Look at, the, look at big boy. Oh, oh big boy. <laughs> oh. All right. So. What we have here, so right up before that, there's a little bit longer video, and it's like a few seconds longer. And he actually, the the gentleman here, and I don't remember his name at the moment, but the gentleman denies um, a, a aggressing against Kyle Rittenhouse. And so then the lawyer kind of walks him through it. So like just right before that, he's like, "No, I, you know, I I don't remember what he said exactly, mm -hmm. but he basically denied this idea of being an aggressor." And so then the lawyer's like, "Okay, look, let's walk through this real quick." And so then that's that's what happens. Okay. So what are your thoughts on it? This, by the way, this is the first that, time that Tub has seen right. this. So I saw it the other night. He is he's just now seeing it. So yeah, whenever we do these, I, I I'm yep. watching with everybody. Yeah, else. all the social clips he's never seen. Nope. And, and 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 the only heads up I had to this one was you asked me when I first got here, like, hey, have you been kind of? And I'm like, yeah, not really. You know, right. I kind of don't care. Um, and, and so seeing that right there, I, I think you have to agree with. Okay, now what? I, I I loved in that one where the defense attorney was just like, right. oh no, right. like so. Okay, so now let me ask you, what what are you what what are you asking me? So okay. I I just wanted to kind of talk about it and see what you okay. think about it. My first com the comment that I made on Twitter about it, I said aggressor admits what everyone watched happen. He aimed a weapon, leaving Kyle no choice but to fire in self defense. That was my position from months ago when I saw, like, there was all kind of footage right. coming out. People were, like, sharing it all over Twitter and all over Facebook. And I watched it. And I watched him fall back on the ground. Right. Right. And then this this gentleman here, he advances toward him. Kyle puts his gun up. He aims up, um, but doesn't fire. Right. That was the interesting point. And then the guy kind of stops. And then as soon as he puts the rifle down, as soon as he aims it back down... The man starts advancing and he pops it back up and hits him in the arm right there. And and, and the, the man at that point has a gun and he's, you know, he's coming at him and pointing the gun at him. Now, can, this is while he's on the ground. All right. So let, let me, all right, let me check this to stages then. Is this the guy, I don't know. Is this the guy that they were talking about is the convicted felon with a gun? Um, there are several people that. Okay. All right. I, I just happened to see his part of that thing. I'm like, well, wait a minute. I remember there's like, he, wait a minute. Isn't the bigger question is why is the convicted felon I, have the gun? I think one of the ones that's a convicted felon actually was shot and killed. Okay, so that's not this guy then. I don't think so. Fair enough. I, I, I don't think so, but okay. I could be wrong. So le, 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 let's walk through this. But I want to hear your impression of just, just what you saw. Yeah, here. okay. So th there's my thinking on this. It's like, dude, what did you expect? Right. Like I, I saw for a second, okay, once again, we kind of had to talk briefly last time, was about, okay, if you know somebody is armed, right? you you should attack that differently. And right. it seems to me, going by what you're saying here, it's just kind of like, okay, you're away, I'm good. Right. You're coming at me again? Okay. We're right. like we're gonna keep playing this game. At what point do you not fire? Right. At what when he has his hands on you, like right. then that there that, that becomes right. that argument. So I'm looking at this like even when I first started hearing about this, like we can have the argument which a lot of people want to do is why do you have the gun there? What was he doing? And there's all the background stories right. about oh, he's just a good kid trying to help yeah. out. We right, right. we can put all that aside. Okay. Yeah. Because um whatever families release and stuff, it's always the good kid. Right. They're, they're never a bad kid who yeah, got yeah. shot. It was always yeah. the great kid who just came from Bible study and all these other right. things. Okay. So putting all that aside, what was this guy saying? This guy was initially saying that no, he shot me for no apparent reason. Um I'm trying to remember exactly. So the question was something to the effect of, you know, were you, you know, were you aggressing? Did you have any aggressive intents? And the guys got kind of like, oh, no, I didn't. I was just, you know, he, he, and, and 
man, I'm trying to remember what he said. That, that, that's what I'm saying. And, is it because I, uh, I, I just remember, I remember seeing it very quickly. Uh-huh. Um, this additional clip after I posted this one. Okay. But and I didn't want to post like you know 15 of the same clip basically. Right. Um, but I saw a different clip where he's actually kind of saying that he he's kind of trying to say like I I was not the aggressor, and so then the lawyer kind of walks him through it. And to me, when I saw this, it you know, and that's why I pointed out what I said. He admitted to what we saw happen. He was an aggressor in this particular case. Okay. And I feel like that alone, just from a non-legal perspective, I feel like that alone is enough to say this case is done. Okay. Right? Like clearly we just admitted that you were being an aggressor. You technically were the aggressor. Exactly. Like he admitted it now. So now it's not just me, my perception of what I saw in the videotapes. Right. Or the – the um the the video clips, mm-hmm. um, it's now he is actually he admitted said. like this. Yes, I, um, uh, I kept advancing and pointed a firearm at this young man, and then this man shot me in the arm. Now let me ask you this thing, because so, he because he mentions he, before this, he's like, yeah, that's that was, uh, I was walking toward him when he shattered my arm or something, not shattered. He said dis- disintegrated. He said he dis- disintegrated my disintegrated arm. Disintegrated my arm, and I'm like. Well, you know, it tends to happen when you go toward people who are literally holding a firearm <laughs> in your direction. You're lucky it's only your arm. Right. You, you, okay, so let me the ask you. The two guys weren't so cause, lucky. Because I don't know. Are, are, are these cases against Conrad, are they all separated? Are they doing them individually? I, I or is this, because here's what I'm getting at. Okay, so it seems like if, if we're talk, focusing on this guy, in the case that he's trying to bring across, dude, you're done. I would assume that they're on different counts. Okay, so that's fine. So if we're just looking at this in particular one, do we then say, all right, shut this thing down? Like we got, no, there's no right. more to see here. Right. Well, like if you're the lawyer, do you go? We're done. So I look at it and I say, now I haven't seen everything, so maybe there's some other evidence that you know. I from what I've seen online, it seems like a lot of people are uh, paying a little bit more close attention. Okay. And the the feedback that I'm seeing is the prosecution has no case. Like they've been doing a terrible job, and I've I've seen just kind of snippets here and there of people talking about it, but I haven't really dug in too much. Okay. And I kind of felt like there wasn't much of a case because I felt like there was so much video to work with when the case originally and, came and, about. And that's the stuff I was watching I was when it like, first happened. I was like, you know, I was watching those I videos. watched the dudes chase him and hit yep. him with a skateboard. And I'm like, look. If I you, assure you, you will not be hitting me with a skateboard. Right. You come mm-hmm. after me with a skateboard. Um, at, but, okay. He wasn't some... carrying a concealed gun. Right. He, he was, heavily, you could see, like, it's not like, hey, look what I got here. Right. Dude, you, you see him with it. For all the conversations out there of people that say, oh, man, it's like like you hear these news uh, reporters like, I shot an AR-15 today, and it was like a bazooka. It scared me. I was pretty much crying. And I'm like, okay, okay. for one, that's absurd. But let's okay. assume let's assume that. If you see somebody carrying a bazooka, <laughs> why would you I'm chase them? I'm going to tell him, whatever that guy's doing, like that. he's running away from me. Right. I'm going to let him go do what he's doing. Right. I'm no superhero. I mean, maybe, maybe the Army does that, right? But, uh, but in civilian life? Uh-uh. Exactly. And the thing is, my kids Marcia, on the line or Marcia, something. he was actually running away from all of that, yes. wasn't he? Yeah, he was. Okay, so we have all of this going on. So I'm looking at it. Once again, we always have the right to defend. What did I say before? I said that we have the right to even prevent. Right. You know, and listen, you're carrying a long gun. Right. You're preventing. Right. Okay, and so I'm looking at this. I'm like, okay, dude, like, you're, for that, you're stupid. Right. You're like, what do you think you're going to do in this right. situation? Right. Uh, but right there, once you admit that, hey, yeah, that's this is right. how this went down. Like, do, do we, sh- like, here's what's going to happen. Should there be anything that says, okay, this is done now? Like, right. should there be some point we go, guys, like, basically, it, it's kind of like somebody else went up there and confessing, I killed this person, not right. him. Right. And it ends. So, is this enough or, or, or what happens? I, I don't know if it's this? enough because I'm not a lawyer. I haven't been really following the case. But just from a very casual perspective, uh-huh. I look at it and I say, this says a lot about the case. And then what's happened in the in the many hours since I first saw this, which was yesterday, almost 24 hours ago, okay. roughly. Um, in the many hours that I've that since then, I've seen some news reports that come out and they're chopping up the video to make it look because like he says, like, you know, I was I was afraid at this point or, you know, so they're, they're making it sound like. He was this innocent victim. Mm-hmm. Like that's how the edit happens. Yep. And so I'm like, really? I'm like, no, because he literally admitted to being right. the aggressor. Right there, so he just at did. least on the account of uh, at least on this issue right here with uh-huh. this man. Like, yep. did you lawfully shoot this man? I think that the answer is yes. He lawfully shot him. Now, 
again, you said it, you said it earlier, we can disregard whether or not he should have been there. Should he have had a rifle open and carrying? Should he have crossed state lines, which I think he allegedly did? Right. Th- those are all different arguments, right? Mm-hmm. But for me, I look at it and I say, in that particular instance, a firearm is an equalizer. What that means is that if you have a firearm and I have a firearm, we are effectively equal. Mm -hmm. Now, you may be better at using it, um, and so therefore we're not equal in that sense. But effectively, all I need is one good shot in the same way that all you need is one good shot. Yep. That's what happened here. This gentleman right here, he had a firearm. Kyle had a firearm. They are now equal. Yep. He's advancing toward him. The expectation should be when you advance towards somebody with a firearm, even if you have one, they can still get a good shot in. And he did. Like, listen, and then he admitted it, which I'm glad that he's, you know, I mean, I think he tried to lie a little yeah, bit earlier, yeah, do, you th- do you think that maybe he admitted that by accident? Oh, I, no. I, I no. think like, I he think didn't realize lawyer, he was walking into that trap. No, I like, think the, I think so. Can, can judging, we watch the video again? Yeah, we can watch it again. Okay. All right, we're going to watch this Because now that I know what I'm watching for. Okay. So let's let's watch this. And I wish I had the little bit longer clip that shows the very the, the very few seconds before that. It wasn't until you pointed your gun at him, advanced on him, with your gun, now your hands down, pointed at him, that he fired, right? Correct. Oh, shit. Wow. That's it. That's, That's it. it. That's Directed. It. Directed. Um, no, uh, like I, if they're I, attorneys, like okay, then you default. Like okay, I don't know if they're attorneys. I think they're just people that are interested in law. They okay. they might be attorneys. I don't right. know. I'm not terribly familiar with them. Uh, the it, person, seems, it does seem pretty simple though. Yeah, the person it, that posted this video is uh, says he's a lawyer and he's okay, a YouTuber, all right, so and he the, may be one of the ones that's in there. I'm if not we sure. We took away all of the other stuff, all of it, just right. and we just look just look at what it's in right here. So what you're saying then is he didn't raise a weapon until you raised a weapon at him, right? Yes. Okay, if all of that stood on itself, forget about all the events that were happening of the time and right. all those type of things and, and any uh, agendas that people have inside of this. If you just looked at that alone, mm-hmm. do you know how many times I'm like, dude, bye. Right. Like, we're, not, we're like, go home. Right. Well, you know, you know right. best of luck to you. Uh, and, and unfortunately, I think this is getting brought up because of the agenda and the environment right. of what it was all happening. Right. So if we just strip this down to the simplest thing, which in all reality, anytime you get into... A court of law. It should be stripped down to the simplest. Here's right. what it is. It shouldn't be. Well, this is what's happening at the time, and then, and right. all that is stuff that does. This brings us to the truth. This brings right. us to here's simply what happened. Right. And if any other situation says, okay, I'm I'm armed. They're armed. Um, I was cool with it. I'm not doing anything. He raised at me. I raised at him. I shot him. I won. Right. That's a, you know what that is. That's an old fashioned duel. Right. Okay. And inside of that, so I look at this, and I'm just looking by this, and I'm trusting what all right, that you're right, saying, right. which maybe my first mistake is to trust all that you're saying. I yeah, I never know trust better than me that. No. Um, but I'm looking at this, and I go, yes, I think at some point, just the simplest, this thing has to be done. Right. So then, what happens? Yeah. Like what happens? Right. When was and, this from? This was from yesterday. Uh, yeah. This this video came out yesterday. I believe this actually is um a clip of people that were watching the, the trial right. yesterday. So yesterday. I think this actually occurred yesterday. I so think. it'll be interesting to see what happens today. See, right. now you're going to make me go pay attention to this when I really wasn't paying right, a whole right. lot of attention. I mean, I'm only paying attention. I only paid a little bit of attention because I saw it pop up on Twitter and I saw some people were kind right. of like, oh, yeah, people you know, been talking they, were, they, were, they were commenting in a kind of excited manner. And I was like, all right, what well, we got here? And so I watched this video clip and I was like, oh, oh. Okay. Like he literally admitted Right there. In, in my opinion, mm-hmm. he admitted what I think we all saw. Yep. And a lot of people were refused because I think a lot of people were doing exactly what you, they're like, well, we need to include this. We need to include that. And then he thought that this guy shot. Some, OK, fine. It's that's fine. You think that somebody else shot somebody. Right. Does that mean if if somebody yep. shoots someone five minutes ago mm-hmm. and I, I like, think that's him, I think this is the right guy. Does that mean that I have the right to point a firearm at him? So then the question would become, let's say he shot Rittenhouse and killed him. Right. Is he now up for murder? Because, dude, you didn't know what he'd right. done or anything like that. Right. We're dealing with this with the Ahmaud Aubrey one up in right. Georgia. It's very similar in yep. that aspect yep. of it. And and hopefully we'll talk about that one because I got I got a lot of opinions about that one. I got a lot of opinions about this one. Okay. Is here um, uh, as well. It, um, now, I'll tell you this. Uh, um, ultimately, hands down, and let's see if you agree, because you're a dad as well. I am. And so let's tie this into the Liberty Dad a little bit. Okay. If Kyle were my son, because mm-hmm. he's 17, right? I would be upset with him. I would be upset because... I do not. I do not want my son, at seventeen, going to a protest, um, even if he's got good intentions. I don't want him going there where he needs to be heavily armed, because 
this very thing. Right. He could, and I, and I believe that Kyle um, defended himself appropriately. I, I do not believe that he was out of line in okay. shooting either of the two men and killing them or shooting this man. Right. Like, I, I believe that those were all justified shoots, uh, shots. Mm -hmm. And, um, but that doesn't, you know, I, I, I tend to think he shouldn't have been there in the first place. And the reason for it is, um, I understand that he went there to help offer medical aid and all that, and that's very admirable. But I don't, I don't have a problem with that in itself. But I think the problem is that he got himself into a situation that he didn't, have that to. He didn't need to be into. It, and I always say, avoid conflict when you can. Yep, it's always, always better. If conflict comes to you, conquer. That's different, right? Now, here's the thing: two things with that, real quick. One is I always tell everybody, that even though I always have a firearm on me, always, and if there's something over across the way and it's happening. Mm -hmm. It's not, I'm out. Like, I'm, right. if it's, if I can get away, if I can, right. I'm going to, I'm just going right. to get away. I'm not going right. to look for the problem. Now, with my kids, I have two, technically three. If you, you know, if you want to, there's <laughs> sure. a whole explanation we'll of you. that one. So uh, the one is just white. We're good. The other two being brown kids. Right. Okay. You talk about going into an area that you don't need to be a part of. Now, I would tell all three of mine equally, maybe stress to the two other ones that, hey, don't be involved in this. Right. Don't don't go. Like my right. boys, when we had the stupid things going on around here, when things got out of hand a little bit, my boys, they didn't go anywhere near it. They, they were right. just like, you know what? We don't care. And, 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 right. and I want, and I think that's where I agree with you. As a father, what, what, are, what, what are you going to benefit by being involved right. in the craziness? Now, if we're talking about just a true protest, dude, have at it. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, like I'm fine yeah. with that. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but once it starts getting out of hand and it goes right. quick, I understand that. Mm -hmm. You got to go the other way. Yep. Like you, you got to get out. And, and I think that, he might have had the greatest intentions of being there. Right. But look what it turned into. And, yeah. and there's got to be a point when you go, you know what? I should have just, if I just yeah. hadn't gone at all, right. this would not be my problem. Right. Now, are we saying that those guys might not have gotten shot by somebody else? Yeah. Who knows? Right. Yeah. But I it would have been you. you right. And so, you know? yeah. So I look at it and I say he was justified in, in, the, in, his, uh, in shooting, mm -hmm. uh, all three of them. Um, it's, it's very unfortunate that the, the first two died or yeah, the first two died. Yeah. Um, some people say it's not cause I think one was like a convicted child molester, molester or something. something. I did hear about you that. You know, yeah. and I'm like, like okay, still. so I got a little bit less sympathy for you, but, um, you know, and I actually have less, I always have less sympathy if you attack somebody and right. then they defend themselves right. and I'm mm -hmm. like, sorry, you, you shouldn't do that. There's a reason that I have both of my biceps, um, because I didn't go charging after somebody who had a gun. Right. Right. Uh -huh. Like, like these are things that you don't do. Mm -hmm. um, and, but yeah, I'm with you. I, I like, if my son was 17 and he said, dad, I want to go to this protest. Sit and, down. And, sit down. And, and, especially at 17. Dude, right. Sit down. Well, Shut up. well it depends. For me, it depends. Like, it depends on the protest. Like, if it's, a, like, if it's like, hey, I'm going to go out with this small group called the Libertarians and we're just going to protest war and nobody's probably even going to notice that we're there. Like, happened to like us. That's, right. Like, we did. Uh -huh. Um, I'm probably going to be like, oh, yeah, sure, go. And if anything pops off, beat feet and get out of there, right? Um, if he says, hey, man, I want to go and I want to protect, you know, uh, you know, other people in, in, in buildings and stuff like that um, because a lot of things are happening right now, I'm going to say that's not a good situation to that's, be in. That's not your because, role to protect those people nor those buildings. Because you're going to bring a lot of extra headache for you. And, here's and if you don't know anybody personally, I mean, if it's like your girlfriend, you're like, hey, I'm going to go over to my girlfriend's house and make sure that people don't go – you know, go throw him, you know, okay. But that, that's window. you sitting I'm back okay. in a defense position. Right. I'm not inserting yep. myself yep. into anything. Totally okay with that, you, right? The other but, day, the but other to day. go walking around the streets, and I get it. He was, I saw the videos. He was yep. walking around, giving out first aid. That was very, very admirable. I have no problem with that. I just don't think that it was a good situation for him to be in no. precisely for this. And let's keep in mind. Because not only the legal situation, social as well. The, he's he, got a reputation now in half no matter what mind. And, he's and this the, or that. You know, he's either a terrible guy or a good guy. You understand, like... I'm not getting into firearm safety because I don't think firearm safety has to be an age thing. I think right. there can be 12 year olds who get it. Oh yeah, okay. yeah. But he's still 17. Right. Like he's still the mind right. of a 17 year old. Right. That's not the best environment right. to go be a part of. Things. I mean, I I will say I was impressed with his, um, but, his uh, his ability to restrain himself because like when you, I don't know if you remember seeing the videos, but mm -hmm. I was like. Holy wow! I've met dudes that were military trained from the military that I don't think would have that right. level yeah, of control. Yeah, but, but that's what I'm saying. But that's that's not still, the point. But he's still a 17 year old right. and things. But but here's what I'm getting at. The other day on Facebook, I put, you know, sometimes you just gotta sit back and keep your dog on the leash. 
Right. And what I meant by that was, I don't have a dog in this fight. I'm not going to put a dog right. in this fight. Sometimes we just sit back and watch it happen. That would have been a perfect example of, mm-hmm. do you don't live there? That's not your, like, he, he's from the next state over, correct? Like, uh, like, I think the next city. So 20 minutes. Okay. But that's what I'm saying. You know what? Listen, when all the stuff was happening downtown, even though I'm like, hey, let him go protest. I'm fine with that. Right. I live. 10 minutes away. I'm right. going to go get involved. Right. You, you know what I'm saying? I'll deal with it after. I'll talk to people after. Right. Um, that would have been a perfect time to kind of go, dude, I have no dog in this fight. Right. Y'all figure it out. Yeah. You, you know, it's too late now. Yeah. Uh, unfortunately, you know, you can't put it yeah. back in the, you can't put it right. back in the tube. Right. Um, so looking at it now, we can't go back and say, well, why is he there? I mean, well, you can. Everybody's going to ask those things. But I think on this alone, stick it to the video that you showed. Uh, dude, you're free to go home. Yeah. I mean, at least on this count. Yes. Now, now if they got evidence for the, the other the counts, other ones, yeah. But on this we'll one deal here, with that. Um, uh, but as far as I know, I think that the answer is they do not. So. Okay. All right. Well, that was a good conversation. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, it's probably nothing that you haven't already heard, but now you've heard two dads who said, Hey, look, you know what? Justified shooting. Um, but unfortunately he shouldn't have been there and it was unwise for many n- number of reasons, but that doesn't necessarily mean that he, um, that, is we, guilty that we, that he's guilty or mm-hmm. that we believe that 17 year olds never get to participate in civic actions. Right. I, th- I think there's a time and a place for everything and we need to be judicious and we need to decide, is this something that's worth the fight? And I think in this particular case, Kyle is unfortunately finding out that the fight yeah. is a little bit more than he had anticipated mm-hmm. and that doesn't matter what, how how great his intentions were he uh you know because th- i can only imagine what it's like to be sitting in court as a 17 year old thinking that you may go to jail for the rest of your life or however long that they're they're aiming for i don't know i don't know the details exactly but I, but i can't imagine the just the, the sheer amount of stress you know especially especially if you really were out there trying to do something good mm-hmm. with that hope you enjoyed it make sure to check out some of our other shows we are putting them out once a week. And they are amazing. They, they are. They are absolutely amazing. I, mean, I watch them when I'm editing, and I'm like, wow, yeah. those guys are, you know, there's some dapper-looking gentlemen yeah. there, but and they're also good, brilliant. Should, that that, that, how do, that you know? doesn't come around very often. Oh, yeah. So um, you should take advantage of it while we're still low-key. You should you should be some of the right. first ones to join this train as it's going. Yep. Because as it starts blowing up, you yep. want to be the ones going, dude, I followed them when they were nobody. Yep. Yep. Start, start following us. Start following us. And uh, you can find me on Twitter, uh, Liberty Dad Pod. You can find me on Facebook, Liberty Dad, you know, all one word. And then uh, how can they find you? Just Tub? on Tub for Jacks, tubforjacks.com and Tub for Jacks on Facebook because I'm actually running for city council here in town. All right. Awesome. Well, with that, have a great one, everybody. We're out.